Time now for Sid Sixero. This is where I talk about stuff for 60 seconds. Thank you. The main headline the other night in Buffalo was Leafs line combines for 13 points, which is impressive. New guy Ryan O'Reilly, hat trick versus the Sabres. John Tavares, four point evening. Mitch Martiner, he was a star, five assists. Not bad. But there was another storyline developing, which is proof that these aren't your uncle's Toronto Maple Leafs. Someone wearing blue and white Tuesday blocked five shots. Wasn't a defenseman, wasn't a guy in the fourth line. It was none other than Austin Matthews. This is quite the development. He came into last night tied with Nick Benino for most blocked shots this season by a forward, 71 in total. Not only is he one of the best goal scorers in hockey, but he's also laying his body on the line for the greater good most nights. And if Toronto's best player is doing that, in theory, others will follow. I guarantee it. If this keeps up, maybe this is Toronto's year. Unless it's not. And it's just another typical year. J.D. Bunkus of Sportsnet 590, the fan, joining us, host of the J.D. Bunkus podcast, 9 to 11 daily. J.D., I, I know, and I've heard this on your show plenty, the, the Austin Matthews block shot statistic has not been completely ignored throughout the year. However, I still don't think we're shining enough light on it. Sid, first of all, congrats on the Canadian Screen Award Morning Show nomination. Uh, another year for you guys. As somebody who did one year of a four-hour morning show, I don't understand how you can have a four-year <laughs> That's Bless your heart, man. Thank you. That's, a, Thank that's you. way bigger stat than the Austin Matthews stat. That should be the 60-second red today is, hey, you have no idea how hard it is to do four hours live <laughs> every single day. How impossible that is. That's so much harder than blocking the shot. You should show a film of Austin Matthews of all the prep work that you guys have to do. Uh, yeah, a buy-in from the stars and a leap from the stars. That's what this team needs. Of course, deadline stuff is important, and getting Ryan O'Reilly is great, and discussions about who the six defensemen are going to be are staples in Toronto sports. But the truth of the matter is, this team is going to go as far as guys like Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, William Nylander take them. That's the core. That was always the plan. And so to have the buy-in that you see from this group this year, to see a lot of these guys take a step, and whether or not the stuff that they've done in the regular season, I'll say at times, is going to show up as some form of added toughness in the playoffs, like, yeah, there's nothing more important than that. And so if we want to use block shots as a measure of that, I think it's a good one. So kudos to Austin Matthews for it. But yeah, um, those are the guys that are going to matter come postseason time. Those are going to be the guys that determine whether or not the struggle for the city continues. J.D., 30 seconds. The trade deadline is a week tomorrow in the National Hockey League. Are the Leafs done? I don't think so. I think they need to add one more physical body on the blue line. They're still missing a little bit of that mean factor. They've And Kyle Dubas has liked having it in the past. That's not just a Lou Lamorello thing. That's been a Kyle Dubas thing. So I, I think that they try to add a little bit more depth on the blue line and somebody who's a little mean. J.D. Bunkus, Sportsnet 590, The Fan, 9 to 11 daily. The J.D. Bunkus podcast is really good. J.D., have a good day, brother. Appreciate it. You too, man. And thanks for, the, thanks for the compliment. Honestly, very nice of you to say.